Hey guys, Mario from thewoodfather.com here. Uh, welcome to my extremely messy workshop. It's filled with piles of offcuts and uh, lengths of flooring and different bits of wood that I've collected over the past six months when I haven't really done much work. Um, the mess is just getting too high at the moment. It's hard to work in there, so I decided to cut up some of this MDF and turn it into a bookshelf. And I figured that would use up a fair bit of wood that was in the house. It's a pretty simple design, which I knocked up in SketchUp. Um, and then I got all my plans, put them into my panel layout program, fit it, and laid out my cuts. Um, if you haven't seen Fit It before, I've got a couple of videos on it and you can download a free trial from my website. Now, I'm not going to lie, this was just an absolutely disgusting project to work on. The MDF is, I don't think it was an inch thick, but it was pretty thick. And the amount of dust that I made is just phenomenal. I've never seen so much. It looks like in some of the shots that it's actually snowing. Um, I had my mask on the entire time I worked on it and I banned my wife and kids from coming outside until everything was cleaned up. It, there was just too much dust and it's really, it, it's not the greatest thing for you to breathe in. Um, yeah, I really need to get some dust collection I think. It's in the long term plans, but long term is a long way away. Once I got into the swing of things though, it was a fairly easy project to work through. The bookshelves are just pretty much straight cuts everywhere. There was nothing too special about this one, so cutting some grooves and some dados around the place and 90 degree angles everywhere and that's about it, you know, everything just sort of goes together nicely. And while MDF is just horrible to work with really from the, the mess that it makes, it just machines so easily. Uh, the back panel for the bookshelf just sits inside a little groove so you can't see it from the back. Um, so I'm just cutting that out here. I would have done it with a router, but I figured that cutting it on the table saw would create just that little bit less amount of dust. A little bit of gentle persuasion was required here to get that uh, bottom shelf to line up perfectly with both sides, but it all turned out nice and square in the end. And that's actually quite surprising when I sit back and watch how I put it all together. It looks like I've just thrown it through screws in and banged it around, but at the time I, I really felt like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> but once I put it down and measured it all up, everything was square, so it worked out well.
this is the only part that I had to buy for the project. Um, I do have some 6mm MDF panels that I could have used, but I would have needed three of them to make the backing. So I thought, I didn't want to see any joints basically, so I figured I'll just go and buy this one. It only cost about $15 and a couple of cuts and it fit in absolutely perfectly. Looks a lot nicer than plain MDF would have as well. I did glue it all around on all the edges and then I nailed it all over. As for the face frame, originally I was going to make it separate, um, connect the sides and the top and all that sort of thing and then attach it all to the bookshelf, but then it worked out to be easy enough that I could just attach everything directly to the shelf itself, so I just put it on in three separate sections. It's never going to come apart, I don't see it being an issue, so it was pretty easy. And then it was back to making a mess for the shelves. Um, the room that the bookshelf is going in, I've got skirting boards which are cut on, which are cut with an angle on them. So I sort of like the look of that. It's very simple, but it's enough for me. So I thought I might try and do that to the shelves as well. So it ended up working out well. I like the look of it, but yeah, once again, it just made a crazy amount of dust. Show me, mate. Smile. What'd you do? I did take more video of the build, but I can't for the life of me find where I've saved it. So unfortunately, all I've got is a little SketchUp, <laughs> little SketchUp model to show you. Um, basically, all I did after the stage, after painting, was make the uh, top and bottom sort of feature pieces, and that was just two pieces of skirting board on the side, one long one on the front and they were just joined for 45 degree miter. Um, I just can't find the video, unfortunately. Um, so there you go, that's pretty much the whole bookshelf done. You can see it here. If you're wondering why I made it so skinny, um, it's basically so it would fit on that particular step in the house. It's never gonna be moved, it's, it's screwed into the wall, so it's not gonna go anywhere. And it's basically so that in the lounge room, the kids will have their books up on the shelf and they'll be able to go and grab them whenever they want them. So in theory, if they see them, they might go and use them a little bit more, as opposed to the TV or the iPads and all that sort of stuff. Um, and I would have made it a little bit wider, but I do need access to the PowerPoint on the wall. I didn't want to rewire it all just to sort of make the bookshelf a little bit bigger. So now we've just got that gap there. I'll fill it in with something at some stage. Um, but there we go. So that got a whole chunk of wood out of the garage and made things in here a lot easier to work with. Um, hope I didn't give myself any really bad poison with all that MDF dust. Uh, MDF dust and I hope you liked it. Catch you later.